it's a really magical place in here. The little fish, sometimes they're sitting on it. I've seen some nibbling off the little tufts of algae. Yeah, I think they are enjoying it. It's a good sign. I was looking at a lot of restoration activities happening in the ocean being made of concrete. I thought, why can't you make something out of calcium carbonate? Surely there's a way that you can, you can get it to work in this environment because shells and corals do it all the time. So this is the Earth Marine Science coral reef tank. I'm testing to see what algae grow on my substrates. Um, we're trying to look at uh, if crustose coralline algae will settle on it. These are 3D printed using um, a ceramic 3D printer. So it's printed from the base here and then it just 3D prints really slowly up through there. It doesn't have any plastics or resin in it and it has a pretty low CO2 footprint. It's pretty cool to be able to have another, a different material potentially. These are just going to guide further research. Um, so they're just trying to give an indication of, of where to go next and what avenues to kind of explore. This is the biomaterial I've developed um, and at the moment I'm exploring the different possibilities of and manufacturing processes it can go through. So it's made out of ingredients that are found within the reef system already. That's what makes it really, really interesting is that, you know, a fish could eat it um, and it will just return to the environment. So we've got uh, the first test piece um, out of the 3D printer. I basically spent four months making failed experiments where all of my substrates were dissolving in my little test, I had little test tanks. It was kind of by a little bit of chance that this kind of worked. It was really, really exciting to kind of open the kiln and go, oh, this looks cool. So the crustose coralline algae might take a little bit longer, but at the moment we have um, some green turf algae growing so you can see that here little tufts and yeah I think so far they're doing they're holding up pretty well. It kind of the way that I'm going about the experimentation is very scientific but I'm it's also experimental in a design sense so it's kind of combining those two things. It has been so much fun it's kind of this is what I love to kind of do is take something and take an idea and just experiment and manipulate and, and change things and see all the different variations you can make with a very simple material.